And now we go back to the 1970s to revisit the Saturday Tea Time Show hosted by Jane Farrow and Chris Maycroft. This programme was broadcast live and contains one or two on-air glitches. From time to time, you may hear comments made by the camera crew and production team. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the show with me, Chris Makeroff. Now, unfortunately, Jane can't be with us again this week. No, I know. Evidently, she phoned in to say she has uh, laryngitis and she can't speak. So it's just me on my own again. Anyway, so uh, let's get on with the show. We have lots of fun for you again this week. Lots of quizzes, lots of people to meet. Uh, Guy Sacramento will be here, as will Mr. Master Brain. And a special guest this week is a man from the street too. So, yeah. And of course, Derek is here as well. Hello, kids. Uh, Derek, you're back in the main camera. And uh, the auto cue. Okay. Was that Chris? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Chris. Yes. Right. We'll, we'll move on to our first uh, item. Uh, oh, what was that? You want to introduce it? Oh, I've got, let me, oh, pretty please. Please, please, oh, buddy, oh, pal. Oh. Let me introduce it. Let Derek introduce it, please. Let, let Derek introduce it. Yes, everyone, it's Daddy Derek. The first item is a lovely little poem from Derek. Do you like this? We always have fun on this show. We are always high and never low. Now we are in the twilight glow. And back to Chris, whose brain is slow. Oh, Sammy. I thank you. Right, well, I hear Sammy. Shall we let him introduce the next item? Oh, okay. And here he is, children. Say a big hello to Sammy the Slow. It's a mole. <laughs> How are you today, Sammy? I'm very, I'm very well, thank you. And what have you been up to this week? I haven't, I haven't been very well. I've had to go to the doctors. Oh, that's a shame. And why was that? Because of your hand. I now have a very sore bum. Derek, do you have to be so cruel? Anyway, anyway, uh, Sammy, what was the matter? I, I had a cold. Oh no. You need to warm your hand up first, doesn't he, children? Warm his hand up for his bum. I've had a really exciting week. I've been hanging around with some of the uh, DJs from Radio One. You know, really great guys. Gate know. crashed a party and was let us to leave. So, Sammy, <laughs> uh, well, what's up first? Your hand. <laughs> first up, we have Mr. Master Brain. Right, so let's go over to Mr. Masterbrain and see if he can answer the questions the children have posed for him this week. So, Mr. Br Masterbrain, what have you been up to this week? Well, uh, uh, not a lot. Oh, right, OK. Um, so, uh, the first question comes from Rebecca and she wants to know why are they called jigsaw puzzles? Because they are cut out with a jigsaw. Oh, right. Uh, the next question is from Belinda, and she wants to know, how do telephones work? You dial a number, and this sends an electric signal to a big switchboard, which connects you to another telephone. OK, great, great. Uh, finally, one more. Um, and it's from... Um, and oh, Andrew, no, not that one. <laughs> That's rude, that is. Uh, 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 John wants to know, uh, what is the biggest number? There isn't one. We just keep going. Million? Billion? Trillion? Uh, oh, right. Well, uh, thanks for that, Hen. Uh, uh, Mr. Master Brain. Uh, thank you, thank you. Right. Derek. Uh -oh. 
What are you doing, Derek? I'm on the lookout for a spy. Could it be the girl in the yellow top? <laughs> Could it be the boy in the white shirt? Could it be Kenny the cameraman? Oh. Could it be Chris? <laughs> yes. I think it is Chris. I think Chris is the spy. Shall I tie him up, children? <laughs> Shall I? Here we go. Derek, what do you do? Ah, Derek. spies, they all have to be treated the same way. Derek, spies. Derek, what, what are you doing? I mean, this is not... Derek, this is not in the script. There we go. Derek. Derek. That's not him sorted out, bloody spy. There we go. Right. Now, let's interrogate him. Hey? <laughs> are you a Russian spy? Have you come over here to steal our secrets? The secrets of how we make beans on toast. <laughs> don't, don't, can we stop messing about? I mean, you know what, children? I know a way we can find out. I shall ask him something about Russia. How about that? Brilliant, eh? Right. What is the capital of Russia? What is the capital of Russia? Answer me. It, it's Moscow. Aha ha! <laughs> you have given the correct answer. Only someone from Russia would know that, isn't it, children, eh? So, you are a spy. You need to be taught a lesson. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it, children. We're going to do it this way. Oh. And that, that will stop you telling me secrets about beans on toast, won't it? So, what's next in the lineup then, Chris? Oh, you can't answer, can you? <laughs> I think it's time to go over to Guy Sacramento for a song. <laughs> Guy Sacramento! Who is this Guy well, thank Sacramento you, anyway? I'm Guy Sacramento. Who is some foul washed junkie pop star from the 1960s? I'm feeling much better this week. I told uh, you um, he was from well, Shepton Mount. Because I got me a new girlfriend. I've met the love of my life. And her name is... Man. I wonder if she is a one, man. one, a two, two, a one, one two, two, three, three four. four. All right. Oh, oh man. man. As sweet as candy. And the kiss. Your children lips. Your grace. And the pretty face. I love you too Your fingertips Oh, take it away Well, man, dear As sweet as can be You are so like the rest Those dimples And your pimples Oh, I adore Your perfect breasts Well, man, dear As sweet as can be You're in every single tune That I hum and I would bear to lie between your legs And have a feel of your perfect book Oh yeah! Nice one, guy. Nice one. Yes, well, uh, right. Now, um, I'm going over to the city to meet our special guest this week. Uh, keeping with the school theme of all our guests during this series, we meet a man called Mr. Danvers. Mr. Danvers, you're a school truancy officer, aren't you? Yes, that is correct. Um, now, I can't keep calling you Mr. Danvers, so um, do you have a first name? Yes, but I think on occasions like this, it is more formal to be called Mr. Danvers. I do not know you. Any of my friend, friends, family and certain work colleagues are permitted to know, to know and use my first name. 
There's too much familiarity these days. I blame it on the beatniks. Oh, uh, now you uh, work for a local council. Now, we've promised not to say which one. Warwick, it's Warwick. Now, you're, 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 you're part of the uh, school truancy group. So uh, what, what does your uh, job entail? If children do not attend school, then part of my job is to go around their homes to ascertain the reasons why. Children should not be kept away from school just because they are feeling slightly unwell or because a distant relative has died. I would like to see stricter measures brought in where parents, persistent offenders, will be jailed and the children put into mm. care. Oh, right. Well, um, thanks for that uh, insight, um, Mr Danvers. And uh, I think we just have time for our quiz. Right, we have selected a couple of children from the uh, audience to take part, and you're um, Timothy and Sarah. Now, the winner will receive three months' subscription to Look and Learn magazine, and the uh, loser will be taking home a pack of colouring pencils. I'm going to give you three riddles, and you have to guess what I'm talking about. Now, they're all items which can be found in the home. So, firstly, I do not taste sweet in the mouth, but I help to put sweet on my namesake. No? no. Any idea? No. Well, it's a pair of sugar tongues. Secondly, I do not race, but I am quick at drying vestments. No? 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 Well, it's a clothes horse. And thirdly, it's all on the last one now, so the winner takes all. Uh, no, 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 that wasn't the riddle. Uh, this is the riddle. Uh, my name sounds as if I am fed up with crockery. Well, I'm fed up with you. No, anyone? Who Either writes this well, crap? The answer was a yes. cupboard. A oh, he's cup a right prat. Board. <laughs> so, unfortunately, no winners again this week, so you'll just have to uh, share the uh, pencils between us. So, uh, everyone give them a big round of applause anyway. Did I hear a yawn? Only from I think the Sammy audience. has woken up. Yes, he has. Hello, Sammy. <laughs> You've slept through most of the Look show. Him. You're just I wish in I time had. to say goodbye to everyone. The spies escaped. The spies escaped. Quick, quick. Sort him out. There we go. Let's stop him. Don't leave him escape. No, we've got to stop him. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm going to you. There we go. Right there. Right, children. Bye bye. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> Don't worry about Chris. We'll sort you out. Bye then, kids. Bye bye. Bye bye.